Dozens of scientists recently stuck fake green caterpillars on plants worldwide in a single study to see how the risk of caterpillars being eaten varied from pole to pole. Any ants, slugs, lizard, bird or beetle that attacks caterpillars soft clay left marks of revealing bites that were later analyzed by a laboratory in Finland. It turns out that the risk of being eaten was eight times greater at the equator than near the poles. Which sounds sort of like a kid's game, I realize, researcher Liz Nichols of Swarthmore College. But this type of mass technique, simple and standardized is very powerful when it can be implemented on a global scale in a very well replicated way. The idea of the study came when researcher Tomas Roslin of the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences was trying to use fake caterpillars to study the risk of predation in Greenland. That is an old technique that has been around for a long time. But he was not having a bit of luck predators were simply not attacking the fictitious caterpillars. When she talked about her problem with her colleague Eleanor Slade at Oxford University, she had been very successful in using them in the jungles of Borneo. The couple realized that the risk of a caterpillar being eaten can vary across the world. And they realized that they could find out by asking scientific friends, and friends of friends, to help with some field work. We have known for a long time that there are more species in the tropics than there are in the polar regions. 